So I do love playing with makeup. Um, usually I spend very little time. Sometimes I spend more time. Um, but on the daily, it's like the things that I like is concealer because it covers up my dark circles. And I love playing with my eyebrows. I take eyebrows very seriously. Very serious. So I'm going to show you what I do. Usually, um, my whole life I've had straight eyebrows. Like naturally. But like a little angle. But mainly just very big. So I like to shave them. I like to tweeze them. I like to bleach them. I like to play with my eyebrows for sure. But, um, so this pencil is pretty strong in color and I've used it for about a week. It does not budge for the whole day. I'm gonna show you what I do. Draw a little line underneath, okay? Draw the top part because it's a little bit sparse. There we go. I want a little bit longer. Like that. A little bit taller, I bet. That's nice, okay? A little bit straighter. Okay, pushing the edge, done. That's my eyebrow. Before and after. Okay. Cool stuff. So I think the next on the list of priorities by far is ooh, these dark circles. So I have this concealer here. This is color 2.5. Um, I did follow their quiz. They have an online quiz. And here, because it gets dark. And here. Blend that out. There we go. It dries really fast. It also, uh, it, the coverage is not very high. It's light coverage but it looks just like skin. It looks like I'm not wearing anything. It's more like a, a color filter or something. Like it just smooths everything out. And now my skin tone is even. Yay. Um, I don't look like I'm falling asleep anymore, I think. So this is the Longwear Eye Pencil in Eskimo and it's like a nude color. So I'm gonna just draw these two lines. And it like really brightens up the eyes which i don't know if this is like an everyday kind of thing but it's fun that's for sure i'm gonna go right above like a little white line that i drew here and then blend it into my lashes so just a little Hearing the FedEx truck beeping just makes me want to like buy something online and get it delivered like tomorrow, you know? But there's something else that's coming out tomorrow instead. I have mascara. Girl. This is the before and now I'm going to try to look forward and put this on. <gasps> I didn't mean to be so intense. Uh, I don't really like to wear like that much mascara. Anyway, now I'm going on. Now I'm excited about the mascara. Okay, stop. I'm just mm, I'm gonna match the other eye. Okay, just match it a little. This is what always happens. Okay, it doesn't matter. Anyway. This is a very basic look. Um, I think I need some more like, blush or something. I have magnets on the back of this because when I used to have a different desk, I had a magnet um, backboard, like a, like a whiteboard in the back of my desk. I had a backsplash. And then I put magnets on all my makeup to like stick it onto my board. That's how long I've had this. So it's powder, so it's okay. Forehead blush, 
one. Yeah, and the chin. Okay. But like not too much because it looks like gold on me. Which is cute, but... Mm, it kind of clashes with the sweater. I don't have that much to say about it. Um, it's not that exciting. I think my look on Instagram was a lot more exciting when I was having like a party in my room, you know, by myself because quarantine or whatever. But um, yeah, this is my look for like the supermarket, um, reading manga. Okay, I'm gonna use my switch as a mirror. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna like draw a little bit of a wing. And then if I can just draw like that, it's really not too difficult. I think it's easier if you draw it in for sure. But there's something else that I did on my Instagram look and it's that I drew the bottom and I extended it out actually. I'll show you how that works I Extended it out like this That's what I did So I'm gonna look this way so you can see the gap and to like emphasize the gap I actually I should probably do the other side first. Hold on kind of draw it however big or whatever that you want this is not wearable this is not supermarket friendly okay draw that so I drew the line here you know and then I'm gonna actually like fill in the little corner because I want it to look like my eyelid is kind of extended here in terms of mascara application. I was like, how far can I take this, you know? And sometimes that's just what happens. Sometimes it's just how it goes. And that was like the moment to do it, I think. I'm not touching the root so much. In the inner corner, yes, but not on the outer because the thing is, I like drew the little white line there. I don't want to cover up the white line, but I do want to kind of follow the black line. So that's what I'm doing. As for my lip color, uh, this lip color is called Blueberries and Coffee. Uh, mainly the blueberries stained my lips. Um, I could probably put like some chapstick over it and then you have a look going. Anyway, this is my more digital look. I think it's pretty cute. And if you do it like really, really neat, um, it would be even cuter. <laughs> but I'm kind of keeping it a little bit messy. And I'd say out of all my dramatic looks recently, this one's my favorite because it's so black and white, literally. It's very clear cut. Not like this, but like this. This is the kind of expression I'm going for. Anyway, I hope you like my look. I'm gonna probably blast some music and I know exactly what I'm gonna be listening to. So, thank you for watching. Bye.